Hello, this is Brad with Air Components and Systems here to talk to you about moisture or condensate management in your compressed air system. It is said that a 100 horsepower air compressor can create up to 45 gallons of water in one day. That water has to go somewhere. We have to get it out of the system. We have to get it out of the air before it goes to your plant. What happens is when an air compressor takes in air, it compresses that air down, which compresses that moisture, creates that condensate or that water. As it's going through the system, it goes through a various, um, various filtrations and things like that, and also it goes through an aftercooler, as you can see right here. That aftercooler cools that air down to help take some of that moisture out of, the, out of the air before it goes to your plant. That water has to go somewhere. So there's ways that we can get it out of the system, and we'll talk about uh, filtration and electronic drain valves next. So as the air goes through the system, condensate drops out of it uh, just because of the aftercooler, like we said and so it has to go somewhere. So here's where it goes. It actually runs, the air comes through here, um, goes through a filter. This filter helps take out any contaminants and also some moisture. So, and then there's an electronic drain valve on the bottom of that filter that helps remove that moisture and take it out. It's imperative that we make sure that these filters and electronic drain valves are operating correctly because these help the water get out of your system. If the water doesn't get out of your system correctly, it can be picked up by the compressed air and taken out to your production process. As I said, the internals of the machine are very important to the condensate management program, but there's also other aspects to the condensate management program, which can be your tanks. You can do a wet tank in your system, which will help drop moisture out of the air before it goes to your dryers. Dryers are very important in that process also. If your, if your dryer is operating correctly, your, the condensate will be removed from your compressed air before it goes to the production process. Also, there's drains on tanks and drains on dryers, and they need to be operating properly. And then, final thing, once you get all this moisture out of your system, out of the air compressor, out of your tanks, out of your dryers, the next thing is to send that water to an oil water separator. That will clean the water one last time and allow you to dump it into a sanitary drain or even onto the ground. If you have any questions about your condensate management program, give us a call here at Air Components. We'll be glad to try to help you out.